A hostage video has surfaced from Warren Weinstein, a U.S. citizen being held in Pakistan. We discussed Mr. Weinstein's abduction in a previous Above the Terrorline video in August of 2011, after Weinstein was kidnapped from his home in Lahore, Pakistan. At that time, I raised concerns that regardless of who initially kidnapped Weinstein, he might be sold or handed over to fundamentalists for political purposes. It appears my concerns were valid, but despite the propaganda of the hostage video for the kidnappers, a forensic analysis of the video will be a treasure trove of information for investigators who are seeking to solve the crime. In our previous video, we discussed how expats can better secure themselves in volatile areas trying to prevent a kidnap from occurring. Today I'd like to share a few thoughts about the new video and how these videos can be analyzed to help return the hostage to safety. In my past life, the intelligence community examined videotapes of hostages with an eye towards collecting tactical data points and pieces of evidence in the same way that any communication from a militant group would be examined. For example, the hostage's appearance on the video compared to pre-abduction pictures can tell you how the hostage has been treated and whether they're in good health. The quality of the video and the sound quality point to the expertise of the production team, which can give investigators an idea of the degree of sophistication of the captors. Pre-prepared statements read by the hostages can help to make sense of the captor's motives. Lighting, whether natural or man-made, can assist in determining potential location. The degree of props used, such as the white sheet backdrop to mask the room interior, helps to reveal the physical layout of the location and can assist with tactical rescue plans or filling intelligence gaps on human source collection. You can also decipher more clues from the audio portion of the video using sophisticated equipment that can uncover hidden background noises such as horns honking, children playing, or airplane sounds. Sound can also help investigators to orient the victim's location. The absence of sound could mean the hostage is being held in an underground facility, which indicates a more challenging rescue. And then I'd like to talk to President Obama and ask and beg him that he please... Psycholinguistic analysis on the oral words spoken can also be conducted and compared to previous statements from suspect groups. This helps to build a better profile of the abductors. What's the above the tear line aspect of this video? Many things are going on behind the scenes in the intelligence community when a hostage video is released. But the biggest winner is the proof of life for the family and the governments of both the U.S. and Pakistan. As long as the hostage is alive, there is hope of a release, negotiations, or a tactical rescue. Hostage videos also leave numerous tactical and digital clues to be evaluated to aid in that process. Forensics on the tape can help fill in the gaps of who may be behind the kidnapping and will be used at some point to help bring the kidnappers to justice.